I'm Jen. And I'm Amber. And, and this, this is our show. Dun 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 dun. I'm Jen. I'm Amber. And, and this, this is our show. All right, today is Foodie Friday. And we have decided we're going to do something especially yummy. And yes. we're going to do something that involves pigs. Pigs. We have a theme. For some reason, we like breakfast foods and pigs, pigs, evidently, on Foodie Friday. Yeah, so yeah. So we are doing okay. bacon jam. Bacon jam. But before we get started, make sure you share, share and, and subscribe. subscribe. Share Yay. and subscribe. Yay. Yay. Also, make sure you comment below. <laughs> if you have an idea or of a product you've had your eye on and you haven't bought yet, maybe comment below and we'll buy it and try yeah. it. Yeah, buy it and try it. I like buy that. Yeah. It. Okay, so okay. first things first, because we're in the kitchen, Jen. Wash your hands. I already did that and I put my costume on. Oh, well, good. Well, we want to make sure we look at her fake washing her hands. All right. All right. Moving and on. So our ingredients today are apple cider vinegar, mm -hmm. balsamic vinegar. Lots of vinegar. That's a lot of vinegar. Yeah. We chose bourbon maple syrup because we are also supposed to yeah. have bourbon, but we just put it in here. Although bourbon would have been fun. I know. I know. <laughs> well, we got wine. Tonight, yeah, that's so. true. Um, uh, dark brown sugar, mm -hmm. an onion, onion. and what coffee. Yes, and we have yummy, fancy bacon. And then we got to use one of our yeah. Wish Wednesday mm -hmm. products. It is, and we love it. We sliced our onion with it. So yeah. that was super fun and easy. And we did. So we're going to thank Pinterest yeah. again Pinterest. for this wonderful recipe. So first we got to heat up the skillet and do the bacon first. Okay, so we're going to heat up a skillet. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. Fun with lighting a stove. Oh gosh. Oh, I did the wrong one. Hold on. Don't be like last time. Kaboom. No, last time I couldn't light it. I couldn't even get it to go kaboom. Yeah. It's got all cook anyway, right? Get in. It's... Ah! I, we cut that bacon. We did cut that bacon. But let me tell you, cutting a bacon is not easy. So I've kind of learned that like... It wasn't. It was very like, hard. These are awesome for it and the rest isn't. And they're like, All right. So we're like browning this stuff. The best part about bacon is they use in like all the breakfast foods. Remember we did all the cereals and they were like bacon and... What was that one? Bacon and maple syrup. This is kind of like that too. Maple bacon donut? Oh my gosh, it is. <laughs> that is. It's like basically our breakfast cereal, but now we're making jam of it. Like, I feel like animals are our friends until it comes dinner time, then they're not our friends anymore. They are very much <laughs> our friends at dinner time. <laughs> Yummy friends. This is taking. I don't it really know when be. bacon's done, huh? but like, no. we have this thing, so we just oh, like yeah. throw it on the top so, like. That's so it doesn't. The grease yeah, don't so bite stuff you. doesn't go everywhere. I've improved at cooking. I have. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What'd you make? Um, I've made bacon before. I burn it in the microwave and I burn it on the stove. So what you're telling me is we need to find an as seen on TV product where we can bake, bake. bacon in the microwave. Mm-hmm. I kind of got it down to a science almost. Burning it or no, making just, it complete? Well, no, we're going to call it extra crispy bacon. <laughs> extra. Oh, okay. So it's, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is like almost done. No, it's not really almost done. It's really far from done. What did I do wrong? <laughs> they use the word almost, and now I'm scared because we're making ah. bacon. And Jen's screaming. It is. I always scream in the kitchen because I really don't ever know what I'm doing. I just kind of combine things till they look good. Like, I would serve this now, but like, ah. the producers are like... So anyone who thought your bacon can't burn because of fat, I'm just here to tell you, it can. It can definitely burn. It can burn regardless, yes. Mm-hmm. Keep an eye on your bacon. Okay, I'm feeling like this is done. No. No. I mean, look, it's all like red. How do you even no, know when bacon's no, no, done? No, 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 no. You got, it's gotta be like brown. This is brown. No, that's, you just said it was red. Well, it is. It's what like a fleshy pink it? color. Turn it up a little bit. What are we on? I don't know. Let's go to Six and a half. This is how we burn stuff. You know, this is how it starts. Yeah. You keep turning up the heat because you want it to be done faster. Turn it up the heat. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. So tricky. So tricky. So yes, that would be fun. The other key to maybe help it cook a little bit quicker is 
cut it into smaller pieces, but like Jen said was earlier, we were having a tough just, time cutting the bacon. I'm looking at them. Oh wait, they're putting onion in. So wait, they take the ham out and they just put the onion in the same pan? Yep. Put in the bacon grease, it tastes better. See like that piece is done. That piece is done. See they didn't it's like say brown? if you cleaned out, they didn't have a picture of them cleaning out that pan. No, there was no you, cleaning on this right, pan. Right, because you cook it in the bacon grease. They didn't say that though. You because saw the picture. Because you're not cleaning out the pan. Yeah, but they didn't say that. They just, even if I rewind backwards, I see them cooking bacon, cook, 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 cook. Ooh, okay, there's this browner than mine was going to be. Then they have a clean pan and they put the onion in. No, they just snap their fingers and they put the onion in. I want to snap my fingers and have the bacon done. <gasps> oh my gosh, bacon! Yay! It's ready! Bacon appeared! Yay! So our bacon is done. It was, yay. So now we're going to do the onions. The onions. Onions in the pan. Okay, so like we're supposed to caramelize it. Caramelize normally involves sugar. I know that because I made caramel popcorn when I was a kid. So after they cook real good, then we put the maple syrup and the brown sugar So I guess sugar they in. call caramelizing just cooking onions. Yep. Why don't they just call it cooking onions? Wouldn't it make my life much easier if they just called it what it actually is? I don't know. Are they nice and brown? No. <laughs> okay. This is caramelized. And more. It's got to be brown brown. Okay. Brown, so let's brown. discuss audience what caramelize is. I think we should be Our sharing this. Our dictionary word of the day is caramelize. 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 Which the producers have now told me means to brown. But why don't you caramelize meat? Huh? If you... Oh shoot, you can't caramelize meat. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> I'm ready with the maple syrup and brown sugar. Can you really caramelize meat? That's not just... That is a thing? For real? You ask, you're asking me. Producers, is that really a thing? doesn't go in the kitchen ever. Oh, man. All right, this is like brown, browned. Why did they just say brown? Not, not done yet. This one, she has no patience, no wonder. I am not gonna wanna clean this pan when it's done. I'm just saying. Mm. I just hope we have bacon left over by the time we're done. What is this burnt stuff on the bottom? I don't even know how I'm gonna get that off. That, look at this. That is uh, thick. That is thick. I ate some bacon. I did too. Mm. All right, brown or maple syrup. Ooh, that'd be hot. And brown sugar. That is something that was caramelized. The brown sugar. It's caramelized sugar. Play the video, woman. Uh, okay. Now we just mix everything else in, it looks like. Next. Yeah? So what's next? Like, put the rest of it in there. All right, we'll get it. Okay, so like... Vinegar, yeah. vinegar. We're just like gonna throw it all in there. Yeah. It didn't tell me how much time or anything. Ah! Well, don't like throw it, throw it. Okay. And we need the coffee. This is to make sure you wake up when you're having your jam. If the sugar wasn't enough. <laughs> okay. Woo! That is some strong scent. And they put the bacon in. All right, put it the bacon in. I'm gonna eat a little bit of it first. No, my bacon. This is like what? Ba could you just use bacos? Ew. You know, instead of why cooking, would you have done that? You want to? Sh you want to use shortcuts? No, you want. I'm good all about shortcuts. Good bacon. Or you could use bacos. No. I'd like to try this with bacos. No wonder your husband doesn't let you in the kitchen. <laughs> I hate cooking meat. <laughs> All right, so we've got bacon and onions. Now they just kind of, they really don't say how long to do it. It's just a pitcher. Then they throw in the food processor. So I'm thinking, let's just throw it in now. Yeah. It doesn't say cool on our Pinterest video. There is no instructions, it's a video. Scroll down. I still smell that vinegar real hard. No, it looks like they did it hot. Burn it. That's what I was thinking. Oh, look at this. They actually do have instructions. So you're supposed to add bacon back in, fry it until a syrupy texture. After that, it's just a case of adapting it to your texture preference. I usually pop in a food processor and blitz it a few more times until slightly smooth, but still textured. So this is an optional. You can eat it with the full pieces of bacon in there right on your toast. Guys, I'm thinking that's what you're gonna do. 
Yep. No, I'm, let's make it a jam. That's what it is. Then they have an actual instruction on how to use bacon jam. They say it's good on cheese and crackers, stuffed chicken breasts. Ooh, that would be good, wouldn't it? They also said to put it in a grilled cheese, which that would be yummy what? as Oh, yeah, well. I do see it. Grilled cheese, burger filling, or bread croissant. Croissant. How I love croissant. Yeah, say the croissant. croissant. All right. This sounds like it's going to be awesome. Well, we're going to have ours on toast, so why don't you get our bread ready? Bread! Help me get the what bread. Ah, okay. Got the bread. Got the bread. Got the bread. Got the bread. We're going to be having some real shrub. Real. Le French Bechley. With our little roll, we're going to cut it. Let's use like one of these ridiculously wrong knives to use. Let's do this one. Total danger. Do I need to put 911 on the knife? Total. Yeah, you probably do. <laughs> All you right. So up bread. We cut. You want two rolls? Yeah. More plastic. Plastic. Bad. Uh -huh. Bad. And I've got my two rolls cut and ready to roll. <gasps> yeah. This is a snap and everything just kind of comes to me. I wish I was like that in the kitchen for real. And yeah. I snapped and then you just showed up. It's Ta -da. done. Ta-da. All right. Okay. So we're going to put it in our mixer or our processor. Yeah, whatever that thing is. We're going to. All right. So they tried to tell me how to do this before the show because they thought I'd hurt myself with it, which I very well might. But they said you're supposed to push the food through with this. But we didn't like even do that. We didn't really push through. We is don't there? need to. Yeah. We're just gonna like throw it in there and then put this on. Mm -hmm. Okay. They said because there's knives flying, knives flying. I'm not supposed to like. Safety first. Safety first. Like, Lock it in. This seems like a. No! Don't show me how to do it. No. No. I don't. Okay. Maybe do show. Me. It's done. It's done. Okay. So let's now. Now we're gonna throw this on pulse. No on. No, on. There you go. Oh, gross. Yeah. You want to do it again? Sure. You can pulse it now. To be honest, this doesn't look like jam at all. Not one bit like jam. Well, it's not going to be like grape jelly jam. It no. doesn't look like jam. In fact, it's not going to be preserved. <laughs> let's, let's open her up. See what we got. Oh, that, yeah. That, that is not good. jam. That is just minced meat. That is minced meat <laughs> with maple syrup. <gasps> funny but I think this would be really really good on chick with chicken or stuff inside something I'm not sure how I feel about this as like a breakfast food well it's not necessarily breakfast time. oh shoot I burnt <laughs> she burnt the toast I burnt the toast <laughs> oh my oh my how do you do this like I burn it in something that has a toast button and I have burnt the toast you didn't snap that's what happened I know I didn't. I should have. I should have snapped. Just give it to your husband. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. Normally I give him the burnt stuff anyway. And don't just, we? Don't we all? Yeah. And he just smiles when he gets. He goes, "That was great, honey." But then I don't know where the food really goes because when I leave the room, all of a sudden it's magically disappeared. But I it's don't think he really ate it. Gone. Gone. <laughs> Um, let's try it. Minced meat, bacon jam. No, because isn't minced meat a different type of meat? No. Yeah, minced meat is like Sweeney Todd. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, no. Now I don't know if I can eat this. Yeah, good good reference uh, to now lose our appetite. It's not Just people. Kidding, not it's me. not people. <laughs> if you don't know the show Sweeney Todd, Todd the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. Sing it opera. Swing your razor high. Loud. Sweeney. You can't Come do on. That. <laughs> yes, you can. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. I don't I don't think I can eat this. I really I I'm kinda of disgusted to be honest with you with the the meat. I really I don't think I can do it. Like even after especially after talking about Sweeney Todd. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. Is it good? Mm-hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. I definitely want to try this in grilled cheese. I think it'd be really good.
I can't get past the burnt smoked, we'll call it smoke flavor. Smoke flavor of the toast. <laughs> I can't get past the smoked flavor. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, I actually really enjoy this. This is very good. I don't think I would have this again. I would totally have left it chunky though and stuffed it in some chicken that I probably would have burnt. So you'd have that smoke taste. It would be smoked. Everything smoked. smoked. Everything. everything I cook is smoked. Cereal smoked. <laughs> Toast is smoked. Everything smoked. All, All right. right. Change so, the grading. But I'm like, I'm in the middle. I'm stuck in the middle. Like I like it for something else, but not on burnt toast. So because of the I'll burnt toast. I'll give it the toast, which was not part of the recipe. I'm giving it a thumbs down, but actually as a bacon jam. Bacon jam. Bacon jam. I guess I'll give it a thumbs up. I'll give it a thumbs up too. Thumbs Very up. good. All right, so if you like what we're dishing out, dishing out, dishing <laughs> out, pun, um, please subscribe. subscribe. Okay, see you Have next a Friday. Great one. I'm not eating any more of this. Oh, I like it. <laughs> I like it. Here, I like have it. that. <laughs>